so yeah, uh, bounty hunting, it's a passion of mine, it's now a career, I'm very excited about that. I remember when he found out about the film crew, it just, you know, took his little ego with his, his bounty hunter bed and blew him right up. You guys are not helping the situation any. The guy sets up target practice in his yard, but he's got targets facing the street. We keep taking them in. Judge just lets him right back out. Where'd you get this back? I take a lot of flack for what I do from friends and a family because they don't think it's an actual profession. A new bounty just came no, up. No, down. Not, not. I heard through the grapevine. It's a passion. You need to be passionate about your job. Not a real cop. Come the citizens are. No, ah. No, he hasn't been successful no. with his bounty hunting. What kind of question no. is that? Aren't you doing a documentary on him? You know, nobody knows what's going on in Gordon's head. I don't think Gordon knows what's going on in Gordon's head. That fake mustache is getting to his way. Well, he's got a lot of problems. He's got a plan, but he doesn't quite know it. He's a bit high strung. Be professional! It was bad enough before the film crew showed up. I don't think you guys should be taping Gord today. He's got a loaded wall through PPK aim that is femoral artery. Gord, where did you get this car? Straight at the rocket chopper, straight up The Gord. mini bike? Yeah! This is a $500,000 automobile. I I got a really good deal. It's a terrible bounty hunter. Just terrible all around person. You're part of the problem. It was normal before this. Now he's got a plane, he's got a Lamborghini. I want everyone to know the Gordon story. You know, like people gotta know. Tell the world. Gordon, this car smells like Adrian Barbeau. It doesn't even have airbags. I need to drive faster than death.